what is going on everybody and welcome back to the CUO for YouTube channel as Carlisle extend their defeats to eight in a row which is um, never a good way to start the video but yeah Bristol Rovers 2 Carlisle United 1 at the Memorial Stadium here Saturday the 24th of February now I must admit it was a much better performance from Carlisle um, I don't think it really could have got any worse after that Cambridge performance last Saturday but to be fair, I think the first half was probably one of the best halves we've had this season, to be honest. Um, we actually looked quite lively. Um, and that extended really for 45 minutes instead of the normal 10-minute spell that we would have. And that could start continued in the 16th minute when Josh Feller uh, put us in the lead with a volley. The cross came in and he volleyed it into the uh, into the bottom corner. Really tidy finish from Josh Feller. A uh, player that I've been very impressed with, actually, Josh Feller, to be honest. Um, I wasn't sure what I expected when we signed him, but I, I really am thinking he is quite a good player in that midfield alongside Harrison Neal and whoever that third man would be. I think when Callum Guy comes back, we're going to have a very good midfield with Vela, Neil and Guy in the midfield there. Um, but that was 1-0 and we, we, we had a, a couple of good opportunities. Nothing really on goal, but like good opportunities going forward, um, which didn't lead to much in the end. I, I've noticed a pattern. Our crosses, we're getting the ball in a very good position on the byline, but by the time the cross goes into the box, the keeper just comes out and catches it. There's not a lot of quality there. Um seen that a few times in the game, seen it late on as well, um, with, with a free kick and we, we just weren't challenging from the crosses, which is disappointing when you've got a player like Luke Armstrong in the box. But um, Taylor Charter has hit the outside of the post around the 30-minute mark and then and then Bristol Rovers was their best opportunity of the game, to be fair, up until that point and, and, and Martin, their striker, got his 14th of the season to make it 1-1. A, a, a ball over our defender and Martin, you could park a bus in the space between our two Centre backs and Martin just flicks it in to make it 1 1. Uh, and, then, and then Bristol Rovers really sort of came back into the game for the sort of next 15 minutes of the first half, to be fair. Um, we probably had the better first 30 minutes. They probably had the better ending to, to, to the first half, but we were still challenging in that first half, which was good to see because normally once the goal goes in, that's us down and out, but it wasn't the case and we kept going. Um, unfortunately, we went into half time in the second half. We just couldn't repeat that first half performance. And um, very early on, um, I know it was actually, let me correct myself there. We had a very good chance off a corner um, in the start of the second half where I think it was Mellish with the header and their goalkeeper's made a really good save on his line, unbelievable save and then we, we it's been parried around the box and then in the end we've, we've put the shot over, I think actually deflected off another corner. So, you know, when your luck's in, they go in. When your luck's not in, they don't go in. And our luck hasn't been in for the last three months so <laughs> it definitely wasn't going to go in for us but it really good opportunity but a great save from their keeper, definitely. And then is where it went downhill, the 51st minute um, Scott Sinclair gets the ball on the left hand side cuts in and he um, puts the ball into the back of the net comes off the, the crossbar and in it looked a really nice finish and I really hate to do this again because I did it last week and I was very critical I'm not a fan of this goalkeeping situation um, it, it, it looks a great finish because it comes off the post and everything it looks really tidy but he should be getting a hand to it. He's, he's literally there for it to, um, if, if for me anyway. I don't know. I, I, I've seen a lot of comments about it on, on socials as well, but I think he should get a hand to it at least. Um, you would hope to save it. And I, I'm not doing the thing to compare and before anyone gets on my back. Yes, I know the mistakes that Thomas Hawley has made. Thomas Hawley saves that for me, to be perfectly honest. Um, there was one against Cambridge, which I thought Thomas Holly would have saved. I think it was against Cambridge. I was, was against Bolton, possibly. Um, but hey ho, Thomas Holly's not in net. Harry Lewis is, but for me, it, it should have been saved. But it does look a really nice finish in the end, coming off the crossbar and everything like that. And then we just didn't really get out of first gear, and Bristol were on top for the second half. For the for the for the whole second half, really, we had a few lively bits at the end, in sort of the eighty eighth minute onwards, but no real quality to be able to to do anything with them. As I say, McCarmont won the free kick, the cross straight in, keeper just comes and catches it. Uh, Sam Lavelle had a volley from a corner. He, he hasn't got that much time, but it's just it, it's a poor effort. No, there's no real contact on it. There's no real power on it. It just goes wide, and that was it really. But positives, we scored. 
which is unheard of. Um, and to be fair, you know, it was a better performance this week. It was a bit, probably one of our better performances of the season in that first half specifically. It just unfortunately didn't carry on into the second half. And we fought about eight defeat in a row, which is it's it it it's bad, isn't it? Really, when we're saying things like that, we stay bottom of the league. Um, I'm not sure what the point difference is, but you know it could be sixteen. I haven't looked. Um, and yeah, I think we our bags are halfway packed to League One, if not fully to League One. I wish. Uh, our bags are packed um, basically into League 2 we're just waiting for the zip and the padlock to go on and off we go it does look like we are heading to a League 2 tour next season but yeah what can you do (laughs) better performance I guess but still not good enough unfortunately we were in the first half but the second half it just fizzled away so yeah 8 defeats on the bounce for the Blues Um. Safe travels home, anyone coming up from Bristol. Safe travels down to Burton as well. There won't be a match day preview for Burton um, because we've already done one just a couple of weeks ago. So there won't be a match day preview. There will be a match day preview for Reading, um, however, coming up out on Monday. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I have been Seawolf. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. You never ever